What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have a couple of uh, pretty significant battles against the Austrian Empire. So what we have is uh, both the capital of Hungary and also Vienna are currently under siege. But there's an army here that's currently reinforcing. So if we attack Hungary first, it will draw them into the action and destroy them before we then fight Vienna. Um, our treasury is low, so things like attacking Dresden, or even pushing on and attacking Munich, I don't want to do yet. Until, well, I don't want to do this turn, I want to wait. Especially if you know the Russians are on their way. Let's be a bit more sensible with our gains. So we're going to first take Hungary, then we're going to take Austria, then we're going to end the turn and see what happens. But first, let's attack this city, because I, th I think... So the only cities they've got not under siege are Breslau, Prague, yes, Prague, because Dresden's under Dresden is the one under siege, and Munich. But Munich is, you know, we're bearing down on Munich, and Dresden. Once we've secured, well, to be honest, once an army see start, um, sieges Munich, well, there's two that are pushing to Munich from the north and south. Whichever one hits the city, the other one can push on and hit. Um, Dresden. Interesting, ter interesting territory. So I'm inclined to deploy over here because at least we know where their reinforcements are coming in from. Well, not we. Well, we don't know they're coming in where they're coming in, but they're probably not coming in behind us. Not much thought is going to go into how this battle is going to go. Although I might. I'm going to deploy quite a sizable contingent over here because I kind of want them to kind of want to engage their reinforcements outside of the city. So first of all, I'm going to be out of range. But that's their more no, it's horse artillery deployed out there. Hmm. But let's take this infantry in advance. They have mortars, so we've got to be careful. Use our horse artillery to blast our way in. So we've got... I haven't used my... Push our cavalry up. So the desire would be to engage their reinforcements in the field before they have a chance to uh, influence the battle in the city too much. Come on, engage the walls. You guys should be able to shoot from here. There we go. Full broadside. Full volley. Boom, 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 boom. Quick lines going in. Come on, we're so close. Fight! Fight us, you cowards! My infantry's ran across half the map to fight you. See how they're actually going to abandon- they're going to actually just tr just try and avoid fighting us entirely. So much time I'm going to run my cav run my infantry past their guns. They will really, literally try almost anything to not have to fight us.
Great quick climb hit. Great, great quick climb hit. There we go. Not even then, not completely. They're still going. Uh, I don't know. Forming a rear guard with their grenadiers. If there's one unit to make them leave behind, it's the grenadiers. So let's put one unit at the gate. Let's get a few units up onto the walls at different directions. Yeah, they're going to get a militia unit and a fusilier unit, which actually is not a bad trade. Oh no, the militia are going to fight us. Switch our howitzers to fire round shot. Attack the light horse. You actually get my howitzers to quick climb the breach. You men form square. I'm okay with you guys routing, because we've got other units. They can't focus fire any one infantry unit. The militia have been attacked and wiped out. You men advance. Drop the Swiss line into square. Drop you guys into square. There we go. The you men just just scale the wall. Oh, the volley killed a bunch of carabiner. Quick climb into the centres also done some great good because they've actually clustered together to try and push out. So we kill a whole bunch of them in that attack ground order. 68th Regiment. Oh, I'm going to pour fire into their militia. Curassier guard in against the Fusiliers. Get another Curassier guard against them. Captured. You've captured the gatehouse in the centre. Militia's coming in to try and attack us as well. Let's get our regiment of horse over here to attack the fusiliers as well. We're going to knock out the militia, send two units to secure the territory. The militia are down as well. There we go. Divert you guys south to pursue them. Fusiliers are shattered. We've quick climbed troops defending the breach into oblivion. Now we can swarm in. We're going to defeat the provincial line infantry on the wall. New men can charge down off the wall. Scale the wall, get my cavalry in to attack the garrison militia. But you weren't expecting that. Oh, you guys are wavering. You men also attack the carabiner, you men charge in against the mortars. Secure the centre. Enemy general's been killed. New men cease fire. 
also set to attack the militia. There we go, charging down the hill. Um, citizenry charged up towards us. But they are now trapped. So the tick is not counting because we've actually left the left the um, zone to try and kill these mortar garrison troops. What I would like to do is firstly kill these guys. There's only one left, but it's always the one left that takes forever. There we go. And we can form line like so. Reload, pour volley fire into the troops currently defending the gate. As our men swarm up the walls. Tis but a forlorn conclusion. This is the 70th regiment. I'm going to reload. We may lose cavalrymen in this action, but I think the volleys are worthwhile. They're not eager. We'll volley away. Yeah, they must be thinking, how are we being shot in the rear? I just killed a bunch of my own cavalry. Yeah, maybe not do that. Carabiner holding us off, it's only because they aren't. This roundhouse is slowing us down. Charge these men down off the walls as well. You guys will probably try and run through the gate. Yeah, there you go. 10th Regiment of Broken. Carabiner of Broken. It's all down to this last garrison line unit, but they have also broken. Good stuff. It was not without loss, but that was it was a fun battle, if nothing else. Hey! Charge on into this unit of line infantry. Yeah, let's speed up time. <laughs> yeah, there they go. Yes. Yep, not without loss, but definitely worthwhile and fun. It's a thousand men, they lost their garrison. So that's going to impact our ability to rebuild Vienna. But once we've captured the territory, and we can send lances out to raid Graz and back just to make sure it's destro it's damaged. Yeah, Venice is upset. But now we've made sure it's destroyed. It means that when we attack it, we won't suffer the negative penalty for capturing the city. At least not right off the bat. There we go. So let's attack the city itself with now a significantly degraded reinforcement force. We won't be able to repair all the buildings like we would, like you ordinarily would like to do. But you know, win some and you lose some. So, I have lived, sir, a long time. Longer lived, more convincing proof. God governs the affairs of men. Hmm. This Benjamin Franklin guy, who do you think he is? Not a great position to bombard the city with artillery. It's actually quite a well-placed city. But here is a plateau to attack the wall. Not the best position, but I'll take it. Swiss regiment, some grenadiers are going to advance up this hill. Pikes are going to form up to secure the gatehouse and any breaches. Selection of men are going to push around the right flank. Cavalry hold position. Artillery deploy up front. Quick climb the bejesus out of people. General's bodyguard ready. Bada bing, bada boom. Attack the centre with you. Artillery work on 
It's an it's a extreme angle, but it's <laughs> it's an extreme angle, but it's definitely doable. Especially as quick lime here has done a lot of good damage. Yeah, they have pikemen. No wait, I want to see what pikes they've got. Not the horse guards. Carabiner, carabiner, general's bodyguard, first horse guards. Regiment of foot, Swiss pikes. Just regular Swiss pikes. Well, they're going to struggle to see you soon. Ideally, we will trap a bunch of units, but we're not going to. Although I could switch to round shot. Get them to attack that section of the wall and see if we could do it. It's always worth trying, because if you can do it, then they are... They're like fish in a barrel. And how it's just do reload faster when they're firing round shot. And we're taking more damage than I'd like us to from regular artillery, but there we go, so we've damaged that section of path. But ideally, ooh, one more volley, and that's destroyed. You're 31% along there. So let's see if we get away with it. I'm not saying we don't want to get away with it entirely, but we might kill a bunch of chaps trying to get off the wall. Because when it hits 50%, this is destroyed. Come on, everyone. How it's the shots are away. 42, 47. Come on, foot, foot artillery. Nah, but well, it's not going to happen. Quick line, ahoy. We might kill a f handful, but we're still going to try and breach the wall. Hey, I, can, I noticed you didn't take my quick climb orders into consideration. Kill a handful of men up on the wall. But let us begin. Yes, you guys think you're all so special. And it's very nice of you to form up in such an orderly fashion for our quicklime to do the maximum amount of damage. So let's pop back to our howitzers. You're not... Okay, they are doing stuff. Mortars are firing. Well, that's a great hit. That's gutted two entire units. Your mortars cannot harm us. Except we will want to make everyone run. Engineers, carabiner, line infantry. I suppose, I suppose I should try and kill those engineers. If you aim for the 21st, you'll kill the 21st, some of the fusiliers, some of the militia, some lancers, some of the 72nd. This wall's going down. Brave, brave carabiners. Swiss regiment to the gate, to the centre. We are going to try and push some men to attack the walls because I don't want to leave them up there. You men secure that section. Line infantry guards defend the gate. You men scale up as well. 
as will you. To be honest, they all will. Provide us maximum options of the carabiner. <laughs> yeah, that was... They, they've had enough. Start dropping attack ground quick climb shots in the center. Send men up the wall. Yeah, the Lancer guards are going to go down. General's bodyguard's going to go down. Swiss infantry don't care about trying to scale the wall. They're coming in anyway. Quick climb, you've done your last volley. You men dip into square. Swiss pikes, get in here, because you're going to go after the carabiner. You men are going to run over here to attack the provincial line in the flank. Let's run one unit to try and get into the central building. Swiss regiment are up here. Line infantry guards are up on the wall as well. You men secure the gate. Everyone else is going to follow. Could run in, but what's the point? <laughs> Blunderbuss shotgunners and engineers. You man hit the garrison line. There we go. Pour our men in. Swiss grenadiers are cleaving a way through. The Swiss pikes are going to knock out the carabiner. Where's the... Stand up for the Swiss regiment. Go after the pikes. The Swiss grenadiers. Go after the militia. More Swiss regiment massing to attack the 12th. New men attack the artillery to the rear. Charge into the rear there. New men charge into that regiment. Who are you? Oh, it's the reinforcements. Let's get a unit onto the central position. Even attack the hussars because it looks like they might cause trouble. Swiss pikes are holding off, holding off a lot of men quite valiantly there. They're going to reset the, the tape, the um, reset the the count. Just the general of the reinforcements on his lonesome. Kill the general, so we're going to form up against this gate where it looks like the reinforcements are going to come in from. And there we go, you keep attacking them. Let's try and get our pikes, can't do anything useful. Swiss regiment charge up the steps to attack the 12th. Swiss grenadiers continue to attack the 17th. They've all been broken. Get my pikes to charge in the breach. 55th regiment just push in. 
first horse guards, there's one last guardsman hacking his way through our one infantry unit. Poor, poor regiment of line infantry. They're already defending, being pushed outside of the settlement and suddenly pikemen show up in the rear. That's not great for them, is it? Drop a couple of units into square because we know there's going to be some provincial cavalry coming in, so everyone just forms squares. You've got 12 seconds to get into position. These are the Hungarian grenadiers, the ones we managed to make route fairly early on. Oh, he reloaded. Oh, you're actually going to. With st <laughs> not shoot. Quick, Fusil is. You better get in here. Oh, it's too late. Nice. So that's the city of Vienna captured. Yeah, Prague is still out of our grasp. Vienna we don't hold yet, but I've got a feeling. Oh no, they're, act they're actually upset, so I might exempt them from tax as much as it'll hurt to do that for now. Okay, I want to keep lower class policies low because we are an absolute monarchy. But I don't want to do any more fighting elsewhere because I haven't got the cash. So I can do, a, I can afford to do a bit of replenishing here. We're still sieging Prague. This army here. Well, we are uh, waiting on dragoons from the Netherlands. Then in the Americas, things have stagnated a bit as we consolidate our position. You need to continue to reinforce. Although, can you leave Upper Louisiana? Because we've repaired the building, the government building. You can leave quite happily and continue to drive south into Louisiana territory. That will make the Cherokee be encircled and you could even push on and hit St. Augustine. It's quite beneficial. They do have an army here. We can do that with. Did we repair these buildings? Yeah, we did. So I think I might do that now. Santo Domingo. Ilfonso Mendez. Sorry you've been hanging around for so long. Should really bring my agent along with. Come on. Can't take Nassau because obviously it's owned by our protectorate, who is worth a lot of money to us. Let's get the sloop back to port of pay We need we need more um, troops guarding ports here. But you will take St. Augustine. The agent will push on to Villa de Berra. A little force up here. Well, their job is mainly just to dis um, dissuade Huron, the Huron peoples from attacking us elsewhere. Though things going really well, ninety thousand a turn. That's pretty good. Yeah, we need some of these territories in Italy to come back into the fold, but we have only fairly recently taken them over. Raimundo de Cahuna, you need one more unit. Which are you recruiting? No. Let's get this sloop into a port. But the trouble is it would best be served in one of these ports, but I'm not... I mean, it's a bunch of fifth rates. Then again, our squadron there is not exactly the strongest. Hmm. Question. Well, I'm probably going to have to do this. Boop. Hit Mr. Riza with his force and drive him north. Then, once this army gets back to Baghdad, this will be the garrison. And this main force can drive up and push and take Yerevan and Tbilisi away from the Ottomans. But let's go 
wipe out this one Ottoman force. Because we didn't declare war on them. They've mustered up all the strength they could, and they've pushed against us. And they are going to pay the price. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's... I think the campaign's gone rather well. Um, so... Drop our artillery behind the line. To be honest, a significant portion of their force is... Um, archers, which I'm just not worried about. Yeah, they got a bit of cavalry, but it's skirmish cavalry. They can have a go if they like. We've got plenty of our own. Yeah, our artillery is going to focus on their artillery. Their archers are all hidden. Very well. If their cavalry is going to withdraw, we will take up that position. Let's combine our troops back again. Because the main issue is, is when you've got weak cavalry ahead of you. It's super easy to just drop into square if you need to. It's not a problem. There's a whole bunch of archers hidden somewhere though. 82nd, 92nd, 96th, 84th, 81st, 90th, 91st, 85th. But partially, because they have lots of skirmish cavalry, they didn't really want to charge them in. Hello. Oh, it's the General's bodyguard. I was looking on the map for any units that are not in the right places. They could be anywhere. Yeah, there we go. Oof. Too bad it's lots of light cavalry I've got over here. Bring our cavalry over there, rapidly fold in our right flank. So my cavalry had to charge in. Not for the... it's not ideal though. Mameluke guards are in there. We've got Hussars in there. That's why I want my other cavalry to get over here as quickly as possible. Horsemen are broken. Broken, broken, broken. You're upset you'll probably be engaged by skirmish fire. The, my cavalry is going to be going down. They're all they're winning, but they're not going to be winning forever. I need to definitely get my cuirassier in. Okay, you guys are going to attack the archers. You men are going to hit the janissaries. Unsurprisingly, my cavalry is starting to break, so that's why I want to get my heavies in there. I want to get my heavies in there and I want to get my infantry in there. See, they tried to intercept me with my general's bodyguard, but now I'm going to run past them. There we go. The, gen the um, archers are breaking and fleeing away from us. Get our infantry up here. Such an absolute heap of troops in here. Push in. So the Mamluk guards obviously are dangerous, but the archers should start to fall really quickly. You hit the Janissaries, you men hit the Janissaries as well. It's only so many units. 
Uh, they're pushing in their Tartar as well, but they're just Skirmish Cav. They will not like a piece of this. Might divert some of our troops north. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Artillery's landing around in amongst our troops, which isn't really ideal. Hello. I mean, look at yeah, they've they've broken. They've they've broken. We need to get our cavalry on the loose. Who's that? Tartar. No, we need to get our cavalry out there. Start chasing down some of these troops. You chase down that unit of archers. You men get over here and help out against the Janissaries. No, not the not the um, hillmen. Go after the archers. So everybody except the cavalry, you men just form new lines. Damn right we're going to continue. You're going to pull back. Curiosier go, go after the Janissaries. Kill as many of them as you can. It's Kurdish Hillmen. Ooh, we can knock out. Great. Now ah, those archers are going to be tricky. Ah well, kill as many as you can. But these Janissaries, are, they're ripe for the killing because they haven't spread out yet. There's one guy to the south, but that should be... shouldn't be the end of the world. There we go. Attack and destroy. Everyone else has lost their... Well, they're losing their quarries. Get us into top speed. Top gear, if you will. Not the new one. Boo. There we go. Everyone's going to mop at this last unit of archers. Well, there's still that unit over there by the general. But he's got four unit. There's four men left. Now it's just three, so... Two. Still just two. Now, now they're all gone. Excellent. That was a good set of kills against the Ottoman Empire. That will really drive them north. Yes, look at that. Then you have 500 men remaining out of, after that devastating loss. So you men can't replenish, but push up towards Yerevan anyway. You'll have money for reinforcements next turn. This limited force can... Hit Mr. Riza. Yeah. They're done. The new men pull back to Baghdad. I'm, if these guys move against us, we do want to have a reasonable garrison in the town. But yeah, let's hit end turn. One of our gentlemen that was recruited somewhere else in the Empire is finally getting back to us. Yeah, they are gathering in strength. But if they don't watch out, they will be... Well, they're gathering in strength near Prague, but if they're not careful, they're going to be in a bit of a sticky situation because they're going to find they're going to find out that uh, the garrison at oh they're going to blockade one of our ports. They're going to find out that our uh, army in Berlin is close enough to support. Oh, one of our one of their armies has got around our front.
push towards Transylvania, as you would expect from the devils. Soon the end is nigh. Yeah, we can push on towards Moscow. Well, I'm not afraid of you, Russia. They're sending in troops to try and find uh, our gaps and our weaknesses. I don't really think it's going to change the price of fish. The army that's pushing towards Moscow will intercept or significantly damage any armies that they try and send towards us from the area, like you. <laughs> that's exactly what he's placed there for. So when he sees armies like that marching towards us, he can just go, nope, and bat them to the side. I mean, that force that's pushed around by Hungary. Ooh, hello. Yes, please, because even though we're technically depleted, it's only it's a couple of units and that's it. Whereas you, got some good artillery. Well, there's some good units to destroy here, I think. Let's do it. That will wipe out all of these armies in the field. So, I think that's a good call. I understand the AI kind of had to make that kind of attack. Because if they didn't, <laughs> we would do the same to them. So at the very least, they are um, taking the initiative. But let's see. Let's see what the train looks like and how we want to deploy our force. This is really good. Deploy a set of guns pointing straight ahead. Deploy some of our troops here. Pretty much deploy three and three straight ahead, either side of the guns. And then either side deploy blocks of four ish troops. Line cavalry can go with the weakest section. Keep a a gun team limbered up. Oh no, that's the one I deployed. Keep a gun team limbered up. Deploy our howitzers just as is. So get our howitzers to quick climb. The militia, regiment of horse. Get over here. This wing deploy like so. This wing here, you fill in the gap here, you two units push wide through the town. Let's get our line cavalry to go round. It looks like we've got a block of reinforcements coming in directly ahead of us, which is good. Might have a light cavalry unit going to intercept our cavalry. General's bodyguard's about to start scrapping, so drop two of our units into square, and let's also keep our infantry. Okay, you men drop into square, because they've just gone and changed targets because we dropped into square. Deploy two units to face off against the enemy as they arise. They've diverted their cavalry, so this heavy horse guard artillery is ours for the taking. Let's take our infantry and form up our wing a bit better. Turn our grenadiers to be fire it will off. Uh, the other grenadiers, fire it will on. 63rd are ready to open up. Focus on the foot guards. So you men are going to pour fire onto that unit. The gunners are wiped out. So let's bring our regiment of horse along to threaten this heavy horse guard artillery. It looks like the troops that have landed in the that have made ground in the centre are going to be knocked back. Let's trot up our line cavalry. Fire it will on. The general's been. Has he been repelled? He must have been. 
bring up our troops here to fire on the flank. Oh no, he's charged into the back of that unit. So this gunner that's unlimbered, well that's, that's limbered, make him now unlimber. Push up our line cavalry. You men get out of formation. Run our regiment of horse up to take out their artillery from behind them. Push up our infantry line to face off against the core of their force coming at us. You men engage the Hussars. Get out of line and engage the Grenadiers. Seventh are being pushed off. That's the general routing. There's no one else coming in from here for now. Ah, oh, they've got Marines over here. That's going to interfere with our raiding plans. So thankfully them pushing out ahead of us is going to count work against them a bit. Switch to round shot, bombard their gunners ourselves. Heavy horse guard artillery has routed. Let's hold here for a minute to make sure no one does come in. Form line. Our cavalry is going to escape. It's going to chase down the third regiment of guard, third guard regiment. To be honest, it'd be great if we could get out of this combat. But I don't think they're going to let us get out. Yeah, Marines, Siemonevsky foot guards. Hello. It's horse artillery. Let's bring our general over here. In case they get past us. They won't entirely be lost. Where's my line cavalry in all this? Get them out of here. Chase down the heavy horse guard artillery. So we've got a unit of Cossacks. Oh, the horse artillery's some of it's still wandering around within musket range. Well, not anymore. Form a new line. Drop some artillery on the left flank. Get our line cavalry back to safety, because they are very damaged. Push out the centre of our line. I mean over here, these guys are just gonna have a bad time. Swiss line, engineers. And they've got grenadier guards and colonial line in the flank. Our light, our um, line cavalry is getting out of here. So let's strengthen up our line again. You men get out of square, form line. Trying to show, yeah, Cossacks were always going to recover from that. Cossacks have routed. 
Let's advance to make sure we're catching their troops in the the dead ground as soon as they spawn. Yeah, in the centre of the field, things aren't going their way at all either. You thought this would be such a heroic, heroic move to make, Russia, but I don't think it is. Got our artillery to focus on the Cossacks on the flank. Yeah, they've been pushed back. Pivot our line to face off against the Cossacks. Bring our cavalry to bear against their artillery. 63rd Regiment's going to be engaging the Cossacks. Six pounder foot artillery. I would like it. I would like to destroy them as well, but artillery is always nice, especially when they've got puckle guns on the field and more horse artillery. Bring my cavalry down here, ready to wait for the 54th to die. Spin the howitzers around. The 25th came back, which wasn't unexpected. Line cavalry can deploy again, if they so wish. <laughs> the 54th are upset that we're attacking their artillery. What a bunch of whiners. Whereas on this flank, unless we go a couple of routes, things might get a bit more even. There we go. So they're going to route after losing not enough men, but they're gone immediately. That's what you want to see. You've been hit in the back. Advance you men down the hill. I don't really want them charging the foot guards, but don't really have a choice. If I don't charge them, they die. Now you can charge them. Yes. They're still doing some good damage to the 25th. Those militia are a bit of an upset. They're wavering already. That shows the morale impact of fire by rank. And they're gone. I mean, they might not be in, with, in range, but they could well be. My own musket fire might cause my cavalry to rout. There's one last puckle gunner. One last horse artilleryman. A handful more foot guards. Yeah, these guys don't want them charging me. I think they must be out of range, otherwise they'd pivot to try and do something. So let's do that. Now these infantry units push back this regiment of militia, then they can all turn their guns against the 25th and push them back. Bold of them to try and push ahead. The 35th are here. Okay, it might be prudent then just in case start saying okay let's get men back
There we go, they've been pushed back as well. They're shattered. Another unit of line coming in. But I do want to focus on the use of these cavalry to kill foot guardsmen. Only one left. Like they've been wiped out, so now it's all about this last infantry unit, the 35th. They're trying to push elements of the 321st and the 35th into there. <laughs> oh, poor devils. That's right, form square. Part of me wonders if that's some sort of AI calculation that says, okay, but we can shoot this way and this way at the same time. Therefore, it must be better. And it's like, is it? Not any stray bullets will kill their officer. No, but there we go. So the Russians attempted to interfere with our march towards Moscow, but they ended up just obliterating their own army. Back you go. What's your next bright idea? Yeah, I did one. Yeah, they might start doing some shenanigans around Crimea, as per all. But I think. Ooh. Eh. I think that'd probably be. That's definitely doable, but. I'm um, looking at the timer. We're very close to the end of the uh, the end of the episode. And I think this would be quite a nice battle to kick off the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the destruction against a really big um, Russian army. It shouldn't be too much of a too much too difficult because we've got plenty of infantry and we've got two horse heavy horse guard artillery. So, yeah, they're gonna get chewed up. Cheers for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Mm -hmm.